Hey everybody, welcome to the Book Nook. Today we're going to talk about a book called Cold Classic by Sloan Crossley. This book had me at the word cult. So I like weird books with weird themes, and this one, you know, had a weird kind of storyline to it. It's about this woman, and her name is Lola. La 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 Lola. So she used to work for a magazine called Modern Psychology. She's out with the people she used to work with. Um, they still hang out after the magazine had gone under. So her old boss, Clive, and then her friend, Vetus, and this other guy, Zach, and they all go out like once in a while to hang out and just catch up and all that good stuff. So one night, you know, she's like, all right guys, I'm gonna go buy a pack of cigarettes. I'll be right back. So she goes to buy a pack of cigarettes and she runs into an ex-boyfriend, which, you know, that's not out of the ordinary, it happens. So that happens and uh, she doesn't think too much of it, but they, they chat and they catch up. Okay, cool, that happened, but then, she runs into another ex-boyfriend and then another one and this keeps happening and so then it's like really weird it turns out that her 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 friends well they're her friends i guess that she used to work with have a very unhealthy investment into her future clive her old editor is like this mystical guru kind of guy it seems like him and Vetus have like some weird stuff going on behind the scenes not like romantically or anything but like weird weird stuff imagine if you could go back and visit the ghosts of relationships past okay so think of it as like Charles Dixon Dickens <laughs> Charles Dickens a Christmas Carol but with all your past relationships. Clive now has poured all his time and effort and energy into this center, this place of sorts that is gonna have quite the unique business should everything work out. And Lola is basically the initial experience to, she's, she's the classic to this experience. So what's happening is she's running into all these ex-boyfriends, which, you know, provides some sort of closure for her, sort of, maybe. Does it? That's the whole thing. And so this weird institute, her old boss is running. They have these people and they it's all very hippy-dippy. They like focus their energy and they think about Lola so that they can kind of magnetize her to draw in her old past relationships to see if this will all work out. And they, the Clive, he, you know, he's got all these investors and they're like throwing money at him. And it's a very weird out there, like mystical ex experiment. And the thing about this book is the danger of reading it is then you start thinking about your past relationships and you know maybe one doesn't want to think about those i don't know but i actually really like this just the way it's written the different types of relationships like the different type of people that she dated like and then questioning her current relationship like how strong is her bond with this guy is he really that great is he a good one is he a keeper does she want to break up with him does she want to stay with him and so like revisiting all these past relationships in her life really brings that to the forefront it was so weird but it was also really really good the writing was great i read this in one day so it's gonna stop reading it, but then it kept me up to like 5 a.m. It will probably, if you read it, make you question and think about some of your past relationships because that's a subject matter. So like, you know, like it triggers and you trigger stuff so that you think about that, which is kind of interesting. I don't know. Read at your own risk. I'd be curious to read some other stuff by Sloan Crossley. So I give this book four stars. I like the premise, it was weird. And I liked how revisiting like what was bad about these relationships, what was good. And it's like how people try to glaze over stuff and like m think about that relationship as maybe it was a really great one, even though it wasn't. And just, it was 
kind of like a, a deep delve into like why we do the things we do in, in different relationships. And it, it was, uh, I don't know, it was an interesting vibe. I liked Lola as a character. She was a little baddie, and that's cool. She was a little nutty. Her friends were freaking weird. And they're like, it's not a cult. But yeah, it was kind of a cult. All these people <laughs> working at this weird institute, focusing on Lola. Like, it, it was a weird book. I mean, it's not really a romance. It was definitely fiction, but there's some romantic elements to it. Cult classic. If you like kind of weird books about getting some closure on all your past relationships, delving into that a bit. Cult classic. It's what's for dinner. Cult classic. An interesting and strange energy vibrational wild book. Check it out. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today in the book nook. If you had fun hanging out, boop that like button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye!